So we're going to look at my handmade knives here a little closer in, in detail. I'll show you some of my templates and what I'm going to be making, you know, out of my shop. But uh, this is going to be one of my hollow handles, Model 23. It's a drop point blade design. And I'm going to be going inside the hollow handles an inch and a quarter. Or not, yeah, inch and a quarter, and using a titanium round bar stock bar lock, you know, as a mechanical hold. And it produces a really robust connection. I'm also going to be doing what I'm calling the Model 24 Soldier. This is a fighter blade design. This one is called the Storm Drop Point. This one, this one here is a fighter blade design based off the UC. 213 and do serrations or just one without serrations but I just love that blade profile there I'm excited about that one coming up I'm, I've been working on that one a little bit every day and uh, got other knife projects going on too went ahead and wrapped went, read, went ahead and wrapped the handle on this I'm going to talk about this one. Looks really nice with that number 12 bank line on it. So this one's a 5160. I'm going to be going to 52100 real soon. Just got a little bit of a few projects left, a few more knives with the 5160, but. The 5160, nothing wrong with it. It's outstanding, you know, carbon, chromium steel. It's got a little bit of chromium, 1%. It's not considered stainless. But uh, I just decided to go to 52100 because we're going to get a higher carbon content. And so, yeah, this is really cool. So... That's a couple of the templates with the hollow handles, the two models, model 24 and model 23. Wanted to show you, talk a little bit more about, this is my XM9 prototype. The newer ones that I'm going to be making that's going to be exactly like this is going to be the M9X. It has an extreme hollow grind through here. down to a quarter inch secondary cutting edge. This very aggressive, that's why I call it the X for extreme. This is a true full tang, either in 1095, 52100, you know, steel. This one is 5160. Did a M9 bayonet style hand guard. This is not a bayonet, just designed to look like a bayonet. This has, I want to show you the template for this and we'll talk about it. This is the template. So it's true full tang, three quarter inches wide by quarter inch thick. And it gets double paracord wrap. And if you didn't have the paracord wrap, a slide on type handle could be, you know, made to slide on there. So, you know, your military knives like Ontario, Ontario, the OKC, you know, the, the Marine version has a half inch by quarter inch tang. So this is even stronger with a three quarter inch tang. Two full tang. It's really cool. So I do both my, this one is the M9 EOD combat survival knife. We're going to look at that three quarter inch holes and there's a quarter inch hole in the back on the end here for a lanyard and then you get the multi-purpose pommel end pry bar window breach or point contact so it's a multi-tool right on the end of that full tang combat survival knife we got serrations design here i'm starting to get better at these i'm starting to square these up to make them look nicer that way we can take a diamond file 
out in the field and you can actually sharpen these and maintenance them keep them sharp and the more that you do this the sharper they'll get and the better they'll cut this is designed to cut wood nice like wood branches up to around one inch pretty cool these all get differential heat treated and tempered so the M9X model will have this exact same primary grind, very deep hollow grind down to this really cool razor sharp quarter inch secondary cutting edge. They fit into a Durlin, your M9 sheath, 18 to 25 foot, 550 paracord, and this is pommel end piece. I make that as well, and it's locked out with a titanium pin. This is the M9, my M9 EOD model. This one's in 1095 carbon steel. Same serrations. This one just has a nice aggressive hollow grind down to a 10 degree secondary cutting edge clip point. Sharpened swedge. EOD stainless steel handguard. 18 to 22 feet of 550 paracord wrap. Has the three holes in here as well on the tang. So this is this exact template. And we've got the multifunction palm line. The index real nice, double wrap like that with all that paracord on there. Seven and three quarter inch blade by quarter inch thick. This is the Snowtack Fury Combat Survival Knife. Three holes, lanyard hole, and then five inch section. I got this exactly measured out for knife scales. If you want to add any kind of knife scales on there, or you can paracord wrap this. This is one one and an eighth inch wide by a quarter inch. And you know the you know, bar stock that you that I make the knife with. This has the integral guard one on the bottom. I designed another template that I have a dual two integral guards, one on bottom, one on top on the Fury. So these are both Fury, just different integral guards. And I do a tribute Mac V SOG. I'm gonna be doing this full tang. Got one that I'm making here. I'm getting ready to cut out all these pieces. It's gonna be the handle. With a color on it. You know I got the going to be pressed in there this will these will all be slid on it's got little rubber inserts here and this got I'll have some red in the middle it'll look real cool it's got that coming up I've got a handmade s13 government SOG knife this is original SOG rubber handle I'm making my own palm in and handguard this is L6 tool steel this is going to be a s13 government a SOG style government combat knife full tang piece so that's coming up and uh, working on this Blackie Collins style dagger it's almost done I've got to do some more on the handle and clean up the blade so yeah got several more of these I'm I want to tell you guys about this I'm gonna be uh, making a hollow handle survival knife <laughs> with a SOG blade profile it's going to be pretty cool. I've never seen one, so I thought this will end up getting cut and going into my hollow handle. And, you know, have a uh, hand make a hand guard for it. And this one's 1095. So I'm going to, that one's going to be a hollow handle spiral I made with a SOG blade profile. It's going to be pretty cool. I'll catch you guys on the next one.